A brief guide to galactic stones. I'm going to take a moment or two to teach you about tektites. Now, what is a tektite? Now, a tektite is something you will very often, especially on the internet, see being misdescribed or even missold as a fragment of a meteorite, which is something that they definitely are not. They are, in fact, a byproduct of a meteorite impact not a fragment of a meteorite or asteroid itself. They are essentially the natural ramification of what happens when a meteorite or asteroid or non-terrestrial body makes contact with the Earth's crust, which is something that they typically tend to do with an enormous amount of heat and pressure. Now, when an enormous amount of heat and pressure impacts the continental crust, which is comprised of various different materials, these various different materials can react and therefore behave in a way which creates something called a tektite. There are a few of these tektites. I'm going to explain a few for you. Moldavite. Considering this tektite is probably considered to be the celebrity of the bunch, I don't think it's unreasonable to start with Moldavite. Now, Moldavite is a very interesting olive green variety of silica glass that has essentially been melted and fused upon impact of a meteorite that struck Central Europe sometime around 14.7 million years ago. Now, this remarkably interesting stone, which by the way is extremely rare, very expensive and enormously sought after, can only be found in areas of the Czech Republic, most notably Bohemia and Moravia, although there are some isolated examples of it being found in western Ukraine and to a lesser degree northern Austria. Libyan Desert Glass Libyan Desert Glass has been named unsurprisingly after the Libyan Desert, but it was discovered in the Western Desert of Egypt. It's called glass as it is actually made of natural silica, fused much like Moldavite, again due to a meteor impact that has struck North Africa some millions of years ago. It's also known as Libyan Gold Tektite, or sometimes even just LDG. Libyan Desert Glass is the name that we give to fragments of canary yellow glass found scattered over hundreds of miles in between shifting sand dunes. Probably one of the most noteworthy things about Libyan Desert Glass is quite how long people have been fascinated by it. In fact, we've got evidence of fascination with Libyan Desert Glass that goes back more than three millennia. Libyan Desert Glass has even been discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun in a jewel-encrusted breastplate. Evidence shows that Libyan desert glass would only form given temperatures in excess of 1600 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than any igneous rock would require to form anywhere on the planet. Indochinites Indochinites, or Tibetan tektites, are found in Southeast Asia, including Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand and Laos, which makes the description Tibetan tektite actually extremely misleading. They're often very dark coloured and range in size from small pebbles to larger objects. These interesting dark tektites are associated with an impact that occurred only 780,000 years ago and are probably the tektite that is most similar to Moldavite. The only real perceivable difference is colour. Thank you for watching that video. Now my name is Luke and I'm one of the writers here at Salt Shack. Now, what we do here is we teach people geology, mineralogy, gemology, archaeology, paleontology, and all manner of ologies as it pertains to very interesting things that come out of the ground. We'll teach you how something forms or how it gets its colour. We'll tell you how to identify it. We'll tell you diagnostic techniques. We'll tell you all about fakes and we'll tell you the history and maybe mythology and how indelibly etched many of the things that we sell are into ancient folklore and the stories of very interesting civilizations. Now, if you want to better understand these things in order to have a more well-rounded understanding of very cryptic subjects or to better insulate yourself from many of the duplicitous practices that go on within the crystal industry, then why not follow us and join the club?